The bulwark got changed relatively recently, so it now has negative mage defense, but is a 5 tick weapon, and the max hit scales with your defense bonuses, up to a max hit of 46 in max tank gear. The old max tank setup with Zamoraki and Hosta had a max hit of 41, and much lower accuracy in defense, making the bulwark the new clear choice for tanking at bosses. The primary bosses you need to tank for are God Wars bosses, so I went and took this setup to some bosses to try it out. It is incredibly powerful. The tank takes very little damage. Bandos hits like a truck, so it is fairly common to duo him with a tank pulling his aggro. With the announcement of Torva armor from Nex, which will require breaking down Bandos pieces to smith, Bandos armor is quite valuable currently. This setup allows for trips of up to 2 hours long depending on food and restore drops. A Bandos kill is currently worth 180 kgp on average, up from 150 kgp from when I made my solo guide a month or so ago. This is a great earlier money maker, especially right now with the rise in the price of Bandos items. With max gear, getting the maximum possible 30 kills per hour, 5.4 mil GP an hour total is possible. If you're splitting with a partner, you can make just shy of 3 mil GP an hour, which is actually pretty decent. Now if you're doing this dolo with an ult, this is insane GP an hour and you could keep the full amount. This is definitely the time to grant out a pet if you have an ult and you want it. The requirements are different depending on what you are doing, for the attacker, you want around 90 plus ranged and 80 plus defense if you're using the range setup, or 90 plus combat stats if meleeing, with 99 in all of these being ideal. 80 plus prayer is ideal for keeping the trip longer, 99 is best yet again. You also need at least 84 magic for potion share spell, 93 is a deal for vengeance other. Having the explorers ring 4 is helpful, only one of you need it. For the tank, you want 90 plus combat stats. Specifically focus on defense and strength, you want these to be as high as possible. Just like with the attacker roll, you want over 80 prayer to lengthen your trips. The Arceus spellbook along with 80 magic is ideal for casting thralls and death charge, but you can also just bring alks. Higher magic does help you tank the magic minion, as that is where about half of the damage you take comes from. This is what the tank setup should look like. Absolute max tank gear, bulwark, full justy, inferno or fire cape, Guardian Boots, Barrow's Gloves, Suffering, and Unholy Blessing. You can optionally swap out the Suffering for a Berserker Ring, as that actually does give a max hit over Suffering, but it's only when the tank is max potted, so I recommend just bringing Suffering for the defense and prayer bonus. The Blood Fairy is also very important for this setup. It lets you keep your health high during the kill. This is also probably doable with Bando's Armor instead, although it is inferior in both max hit and dramatically worse defense. I'd highly recommend getting Full Justy. For the tank's inventory, this is what I bring. Guthans in the top left is absolutely necessary. I bring a BGS for some extra DPS each kill. This is a better option than a Dragon Warhammer. You want 10 cheap food that heal 22 health, and around 8 super restores. I use the Archaeos spellbook for some extra DPS with thralls, and death charge for additional specs on the BGS. If neither you nor the attacker have an Explorer's Ring 4, or you don't have the spellbook unlocked, just bring the standard spellbook instead with Alks. Optionally with Lava Runes for the ability to cast Bones to Peaches if you have that unlocked. Otherwise you would just bring Tablets. If bringing the Arceus Spellbook, you need the Book of the Dead, a Rune Pouch with Bloods, Cosmic and Fire Runes, and Loose Death and Soul Runes, as well as Bones to Peaches tabs, and one of you two needs to bring an Explorer's Ring 4. If you are on the standard Spellbook, it frees quite a bit of inventory space, so you can just bring additional restores or food. Throw in an Imbued Heart if you have it for the additional magic defense. For the attacker setup, this is what I wear. Bow of Ferdinand with Crystal Armor. Anguish, Max Cape, as Assembler does not give a max hit with Bofa. You can also replace this with Prayer or Hit Points Cape alternatively. Pegasians, Blessed Dehyde Boots are perfectly fine. Suffering, Ring of the Gods is also a good option. Zamorak Bracers and War Blessing, or vice versa. Bofa is actually the best possible DPS at Bandos by a very large margin due to his high defense. You could also use a blowpipe, but that is still over 30% worse DPS than a Bofa, and will cause you to get targeted by minions more often due to the weird mechanics with them. If you cannot afford Bofa, I'd recommend Max Melee with Rapier or Tentacle Whip instead, as this is a lot better DPS than Blowpipe. You would just replace the ranged potions in the setup with more food and restores, and the Blowpipe with a BGS of your own. The attacker's inventory looks something like this. Guthans in the top left, again absolutely necessary. I bring 6 Divine Bastion Potions and 6 Super Combats to pot share to both of us. The Blood Pipe is for killing minions and restoring health with specs. Fill this bad boy with Dragon Darts as it barely gets used. 
Pick up the darts after killing the minions if you don't have a max cape. Two emergency anglerfish and five super restores are also good. You need to be on the lunar spellbook and bring a rune pouch with mud, death, and astral runes. These will allow you to pot share and cast vengeance at the tank. If you don't have the mage level for vengeance, just bring earth, astral, and water runes. The imbued heart, if you have it, is nice for the mage defense, but it's completely unnecessary. Bones to Peaches tablets can also come in handy. For getting there, the best option is a combat achievement hilt if you have one. Even the easy diary hilt gives you three teleports a day to the boulder. I suggest collecting a pile of these from Gomel so you can drop them to pick up drops at Mandos. If you don't have these, a chipped house tablet to Trollheim also works, but is a bit slower. You can optionally drop some food at your teleport location, teleport back to a bank, and get more food, teleport to your God Wars teleport again, then pick up the food. Although I prefer to just leave a space open for loot at Bandos personally. Once inside, just head to this little area here and kill all the goblins for KC. Bandos is the fastest KC of any God Wars dungeon boss. If you are the attacker, you can speed this up a bit by running around the dungeon, shooting any goblin with your bofa. Once you have KC, head to the door and grab a hammer by killing one of the goblins near the door. If you stuff your inventory, drop a piece of food, pick up the hammer, enter the door, drop food on the other side, go back, pick up your food, go back through the door, drop the hammer, and pick up your full supplies. Once both of you have KC, enter at the door to Bandos on an empty world. Good luck with that. Both of you should pray the preserve prayer. The attacker should pot share a super combat and get ready to enter. The tank should enter the room first and immediately spec Bandos with a BGS and start attacking with Bulwark. Praying protect from melee and piety, and casting Death Charge and Summon Thrall if they have the RKO spellbook. As soon as the tank has attacked Bandos, the attacker can sub their Bastion Potion and enter, praying Rigor and protect from ranged, and immediately attacking Bandos. If you're using a melee setup, you just want to pray piety and protect from ranged. Gryador has a unique mechanic in which if his attack lands, it is guaranteed to hit at least a 15 up to a 35. Luckily, this attack can still be blocked for a zero, so the tank setup helps dramatically. The tank needs to pray melee, as his melee attack max is a 60, and will still shred through even tank armor like wet tissue paper. As a rule of thumb, if the tank's health drops below 40, they need to eat food. All of this is doable on ult, as the tank and main take low enough damage that this is perfectly manageable. As soon as Bandos dies, both attacker and tank should begin attacking the mage in Guthans. I typically continue praying piety on both accounts until it dies. Whoever is being attacked by the mage needs to pray magic until it goes down. If one of you gets full health and the other is low, stop attacking so the other can get full health with Guthans. If both of you are max HP, just throw on your DPS gear and shred the remaining minions. You can also dump blowpipe specs on the attacker if you have the Bofa setup. If you do not manage to get to full HP with Guthans, you can pick up the bones and use bones to peach his spells. Make sure to check if the melee minion dropped a kebab as well. Those heal more than you would think. The person with the Explorer's Ring should alk anything that needs alking and pick up the coin drops, and both of you should cram food and restore drops when possible. If either of you need prayer, the attacker should pot share restores. If the tank drops to 116 strength or lower, the attacker should pot share another super combat, as well as repotting divine when it runs out. Hit the prayer altar if possible, and sit next to Grardor's respawn point, with the attacker a decent ways away. When Grardor respawns, make sure the tank attacks Grardor first, or Grardor will get stuck to the attacker instead. If this happens, run around the room praying melee, with the tank hitting Grardor until Grardor switches aggro. A Bando's kill is currently 184,982 GP on average. With this method, 30 kills per hour is perfectly doable, netting just over 5.5 mil GP an hour total. Splitting with a partner puts this at about 2.75 mil GP an hour. I have a feeling this is not going to stay this way, but with the current hype with Nex, this is definitely the time to be killing Bando's. It's possible Bando's pieces rise even a bit higher in the coming days. If you want to check what the GP an hour is in the future, just check the wiki page for Bandos' kill value and multiply it by your kills per hour, which is 30 at most. And that's about it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it and or subscribe. Thanks guys.